Welcome. Let's go ahead and generate our starter project from Spring Initializer. For that, on Google, just type Spring Initializer. Click on the first link. After that, you will land on the screen. And as we are creating a property management system where an owner of a property can manage different properties. So let's go ahead and give some package names. So let's say com dot my company. That will be our group ID for our project and artifact ID is property management. We can say description is property management system. Let's keep it as a jar project and you can choose Java 11 or Java 8. Let me choose Java 8 for now. And from here we can choose Maven and language as Java. And we can decide to choose any of these table versions. So we can go with either this or I will just go with this one 2.5.9. This will be much stable than this version. So let's go ahead and add some dependencies that we will need. So first one look for web. So take this one spring web. This will help us to build the restful endpoints. Then I will take another one called Lombok. This will help us to give avoid giving getters and setters always. Instead, we can use some annotations and it will generate the getters and setters for us. And finally, I'm going to also take the Spring Data JPA, that is Data JPA. Along with that, I will also need the H2 database. So I will take that as well for now. So for now, this is good enough. And later on, we can add more dependencies as we need. So just click on generate. It's going to download a zip. Go ahead and extract this zip file in a location where you want to keep your project source code. So in the next video, we are going to further continue by importing this project into our favorite editor, either Eclipse or IntelliJ. So as we are using IntelliJ in this course, so I will show you in the next uh, video how to import this project in our IntelliJ workspace. Thank you. I will see you in the next video.